Hello and welcome to my fourth video on multiple valued logic. I'll be presenting today an algebra system which I'm going to minimise using first an algebraic method and then second a Kahneman method. Now this is the this is not my algebra. This is the reference where I got the algebra from. It's a minimisation technique for multiple valued logic systems by those people. IEEE Transactions on Computers, Volume C17, 1968. Now their minimization technique uses something called consensus, which I won't be going into. Um, like I say, I'll just be using an algebraic method of minimization and a Kahneman method of minimization. Um, I don't know if they invented the algebra, but that's the reference I took the algebra from. Um, it's not a post-algebra because they only use two-valued unary operators. So anyway, let's have a look. Here we have the binary operators. Binary meaning two inputs or more. Here we have the minimum of function, which takes the minimum value of what's ever on its inputs A and B, and the maximum of function, which takes what's ever on its inputs A and B and presents it to the outputs. Here we have the two valid union operators. <clears throat> so A, B, C equals two if and only if A is greater or equal to B and less than or equal to C. Zero otherwise, C greater or equal to B. So here we have a few examples. This is A, zero, one, two. A, zero, zero is a two when a equals 0 and a 0 everywhere else. a11 one, one is a 2 when a equals 1 and 0 everywhere else. a22 two, two is a 2 when a equals 2 and 0 everywhere else. a01 is a 2 at 0 and 1 and a 0 at 2. a12 is a, is a 2 at a equals 1, 2 and a 0 at a equals 0. Here's some ternary algebraic rules. A00 max A11 equals A01. A11 max A22 equals A12. A00 max A11 max A22 equals 2. Um, 1 min A max A equals A. A max A equals A. 2 min A equals A. Of course we have the factorization. A min B max A min C equals A min B max C. That's similar to Boolean algebra factorization. So I said I'd be presenting the Kano map method of minimization. Well, this is the Kano map coding. We have the function f, 0, 1, 2, and a don't care state for x. F2, can I map F2 and can I map F1? If F is a 0, F2 equals 0 and F1 equals 0. F is a 1, F2 equals 0 and F1 equals 1. F is a 2, F2 is a 2 and R, uh, F1 equals a redundant state. If F is a don't care state, both F1 and F2 are redundant states. The value of R in F1 can assume the value of either 0 or 1. The value of R in F2 can assume the value of either 0 or 2. Here we have an example of a function. This is a function which has been described in the, the reference I showed you at the beginning of the video. This is their function and they give a minimised result which I'll be presenting. So inputs A and B here, function there. I've used the coding for the kind of map on F1 and F2 there. And I've also written in the term of the each each, exp, each term of each expression of the function here. <clears throat> so two here is A00 min B00. A two there is A11 min B00. A one there is one min A00 min B11. 2 here is A11 min B11, 
2 here is A22, mean B11. 2 here is A11, mean B22. And 2 here is A22, mean B22. This is the algebraic me method of minimization. Um, it looks a bit of a mess, but it's quite simple. Here we have all the terms of the expression here. And these are the redundant terms. They're redundant because when this is a 2, these, this is a 1. And a 2 max with a 1 is a 2. So I can quite happily introduce all these redundant terms into the expression without altering their function. So these six terms here are these six terms here with a 1 placed in front of the expression. Now what I've done well, I've taken that term there, I've taken this redundant term here, placed it there, placed, taken that redundant term there, and placed it there, then I've copied the six functions here, just a straight copy. So what does that mean? Well, I can factorise a 1 and a b1 from these three and collect the a terms here. So I've factorised a 1 and a b1 and collected the a terms. Um, I can factorise a b0 here and collect the a terms. b0, a terms. Um, I have to factorise a B1 here, collect the A terms there, and a B2 here, and collect the A terms there. So, all right. So, all this reduces to 2. So, I have 1, min 2, min B11. A0, 0, max A11 is A01. So, you're left with A01, min B00. A11, min max. B22 is A12, so you're left with A12 min B11, and A11 max A22 again equals A12, so you're left with A12 max B22. Okay, so 1 min 2 is 1, so you're left with 1 min B11, that can just straight copy down, and I factorise an A. 1, 2 out here and collected the B terms there. So that's there, that's there. And B11 max B22 equals B12. So I'm left with F equals 1 min B11 max A01 min B00 max A12 min B12. And that's a minimised um, expression for the function. Here we have the counter map minimization. We have counter map F1 and counter map F2. We have the input variables listed here for A and B, here and here, in both counter maps. Counter map F1 only deals with zeros and ones. The redundant set can e either equal a zero or a one, and you can either choose to loop it or not. In this case, I've looped a whole row and it only covers b at 1 so it's 1 and b11 one, one. it has to have a 1 in front of it otherwise it would gen b11 one, one would generate a 2 so that's why the 1's there any other terms generated by this kind of map would have a 1 in front of them also for kind of map f2 well for here, A covers 0, 1, 0 and 1, so it's A, 0, 1. B is a single coordinate of 0, 0, so it's B, B 0, 0. And for this loop, A covers a 1 and a 2, so it's A, 1, 2. And the same for B, so it's B, 1, 2. So if A, 1, 2, min B, 1, 2. So f, the function equals f1 max f2. So it's basically f1 is this term and f2 is this term. So basically you just connect all the terms of both of f1 and f2 and connect them together via the maximum of function. 
So you're left with f equals 1 min b11 max a01 min b00 max a12 min b12. One thing I want, will say about this method is it's easy to incorporate large number of variables in this um, kind of map. All you have to do maybe for a three variable say is list A and B on this corner and list 0, 1, 2 in the audio order in the truth table. This could be C, 0, 1, 2 and you could have a, a 27 coordinate kind of map there or more. So it's quite easy to do and the kind of map is quite straightforward. Okay, well that concludes the presentation of uh, this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching. There will be more. Thanks for watching. Bye.